All right. How's everybody doing this morning? How's everybody feeling today? Good to see everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Looks like we've got a lot of people that are just starting to come and join us. Want to get those last minute text messages out. Let everybody know that we are kicking off this morning's call. <clears throat> so, um, first of all, as you guys know, it's kind of a tradition on the Winning Wednesday morning calls to just take a minute, celebrate our small victories, um, talk about or recognize somebody else that's doing something uh, above and beyond in their business, brag about someone. And so I want to actually kick off this morning. I want to start off today by bragging a little bit about Mr. Tony Benuelos. So um, Tony, you know, has, uh, we've had two main events now in Latin America. One was in Mexico City. Uh, of course, the other was in, um, well, three, I should say, Costa Rica. The third one was in Colombia. And um, Tony and I were chatting earlier in the month. And I said, Tony said, you know, I'm not sure if I'm going to go to Colombia or not. I, you know, I haven't decided yet. I think he's a little bit on the fence and, and uh, a couple of days before the event said, I'm going, I'm coming to the event, I'm going to be there. And so um, we arrived in Columbia and, you know, I, in the morning, uh, walked out, Tony was already in the lobby meeting with uh, some of his team members, one in, in particular that drove literally 13 hours to be there for this event. And uh, it was really neat to just see Tony, you know, doing his thing in the lobby. But what was really neat is, is, um, you know, as the event started at two o'clock in the afternoon that day, um, it was very clear that <laughs> the, the, they had not really organized this event or, or didn't have an event structure, at least the way that we would. And so we just kind of took charge of the meeting and, and, um, and Tony had an opportunity to present the compensation plan. And there's, you know, good hundred plus people in this room. And, and uh, this first event, there were some powerhouse Latino leaders that were in this particular event. And Tony went up there and did his thing and he did an outstanding job. And some of you guys saw the pictures and videos of Tony in the, in the group, but I, you know, I want to share this. Um, that's how it happens. Like that's how you build your name. That's how you build kind of relationships uh, is just being there. Sometimes just being there, an opportunity presents itself. And as we went through these different meetings throughout the day, um, I couldn't help but it reminded me of when I first got started in this business, because when I first got started, any time that there was an event that I could I could get to, whether it was close by or even if I had to hop on a plane, or if my leaders came to town, I would always find a way to, to be there and to be around them just because I wanted that opportunity to be able to get that one little nugget from them or to be able to watch them and to see how they interact or how they work or how they present. Um, I would literally go and sit. Uh, we used to have these things called executive appointments and our leaders would come to town and for two days, they would meet with the team's prospects in front of the leaders. You just had to coordinate the event, uh, the meeting ahead of time. And so I would go down to the, to the hotel where they were staying and, and I would sit in on these meetings and I wouldn't, you know, I wasn't interacting. They weren't always my prospects. Most of the time they weren't, but I was just there with my success journal and I would observe everything. I would observe how they dressed. I would observe how they greeted someone. I would observe how they set up the meeting room or, or where they were going to sit in the hotel lobby so that their guest wasn't going to be distracted by whatever it was that was behind them. I would observe how they presented, how they talked, their body language, when they would lean in for the clothes. I'd watch all those things. And I have to tell you that that made a huge difference for me in my business. And eventually I started to emulate them and, and take action. And, and so I just wanted to praise Tony because Tony got on an airplane, invested in his business, came to Columbia, and as a result, had a tremendous opportunity to get in front of, you know, hundreds of people that now know Tony Benuelos' name in Latin America. And those relationships will continue to serve him as he goes on in his career. And so I just wanted to give him a huge shout out. I thought that that was absolutely outstanding. So Tony, I'm proud of you, brother, for taking that, uh, that jump and, and, and coming out in Columbia. But um, and, and on, on that note, well, actually, no, we won't go into that yet. I'm going to call on Tony here in a minute. But does anybody else have anything exciting that they want to share about their business, somebody that they want to brag on, or just some exciting news that you'd like to share? Travis, I'd like to share. Hey, please, yeah, go for it. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Um, I just want to give kudos to the team that went to Panama and, and performed. Um, thank you, Tina, for the for Monday's night team call. And I just wanted to say that it got me off of my, my fear disappeared. I'll tell you, I saw that video for the second time 
and I was dreaming of bugs. And, uh, <laughs> and I was just like, okay, now I can't kill them anymore. I have to actually pick them up and feel the energy that they're having. I said, if this woman can eat a beetle, I can at least feel what a, what a bug looks like, right? Mm -hmm. And so um, in, in all of the, the lessons that she, um, the nuggets that she left in our, our meeting on Tuesday, I mean, on Monday, I was able to put that fear, that fear was not there. And I reached out to four network marketers that I was like afraid to uh, tell them about the business. And so I reached out and friended them. They accepted the invitation. And so my next thing is, is inviting them to Thursday's, uh, tomorrow's meeting with um, James. And, um, and so it's just like, if she can share, if she can share with us that what she <laughs> ate <laughs> and, and the experience that she went through, um, I can't have any excuse not to share this with everyone, with everyone that we know. Um, the most that can happen, they say no, you know, and, um, and I got to really take and swallow that. It's like, you know what, it just doesn't matter there. I can't be attached to that response. Um, emotionally. And so I just wanted to just to thank Tina for for that sharing and helping me to definitely now I'm just totally out of my comfort zone of just asking and people to, to look at the opportunity. That's all we're doing, asking them to be exposed to something that is truly revolutionary in the entrepreneurial world and in the health world. So thanks. Awesome. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. We showed that video um, multiple times this weekend. I got to tell you, it's a great recruiting tool. When you're meeting with people and you're talking about the culture of the company and you're talking a little bit about how unique you know, we are and the owner is, and, and then you play that video. Every time I played that video, the, everyone's eyes in the audience or the group was just wide open. So it's a fantastic recruiting tool as well. Anyone else have anything they'd like to share this morning? Travis, I'm going to jump in and lift up a vet. I, you know, <laughs> I watched those videos. I watched them twice. I have my thoughts. In fact, I never thought to, <laughs> to pick up a bug and feel its energy. You know, you, every, I just don't have words for how you add to our team, our culture, our spirit, and you always lift us up to this highest place of humanity. I aspire someday to grow up and be like you. I doubt I'll ever reach that height, but um, Travis, I, I I hope I just hope we get to give Yvette the biggest platform. Your growth, Yvette, from what COVID did to your business, to how you've managed it, to how you've figured it all out, to how you keep going, you are just my hero, man. And I um I say that with all my heart, and I say it was starting to cry, so I'm gonna stop crying and I'm gonna mute myself. But you are somebody, and um you're a blessing to all of us, Yvette. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Joe B. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Well said. Anybody else have anything they want to share? Somebody they want to brag about? We're good this morning, huh? We're good. Um, I'm going to share something that I'm excited about. So, you know, one thing about our business, um, you guys have, we've talked a lot about how there's biorhythms to every business, right? Like, Every business does this. I mean, that marker's done. Every business, we do paint today, kind of does this. You know, you've got your peaks and your valleys. And, you know, there's times where your business is growing and there's times where it's plateauing. There's times where it's receding. And that's the nature of, of, of our business that we're in. And sometimes when you're in kind of one of these valleys, it can be a little bit challenging or frustrating. And, and what I've learned is, is that the answer to that, the answer to this Valley is always new blood, right? New blood is the lifeblood of your business. It just is. And sometimes we find ourselves getting into, especially if you're a nurturer, we get into management mode because we just want to love everybody. We want to help everybody. We want to build the websites. We want to build the perfect system. We want to build all of these things. And I'm just going to tell you that the right leaders come in and they just figure it out. And you can really run yourself ragged here trying to figure out why people aren't doing something. I'm just going to tell you right now. And for some people, it's just not the right time in their life. For some people, they're just not ready yet. So you got to work with the willing. Um, you'd want to look for sparks in your organization and go pour gas on them. But anytime that you're spending more time doing that than focused on recruiting or bringing people into your business, 
you, you run the risk of starting to fall backwards into your business. And so, uh, and I will tell you guys that I, this happens to me, it happens to all of us. And um, so I really started focusing on my recruiting again over the last month and using rapid funnel and getting just the presentations out in front of people. And I have, as a result of that, three people that are going to be joining my business this week. Two of them are, are pretty influential, um, you know, people that I've worked with in the past in the industry. One of them had me on the phone with two doctors last night. Both of them are very seasoned in the industry, very credible. They both love what we're doing with these products. And it just brings a newfound energy to me. Um, same things, you know, brought, brought some new people in in Colombia. And in working with them, it just re-energizes me. And I just feel really good right now. So I will say for any of you that are maybe struggling in this area right now, just get back into the seat when it comes to doing what you do, recruiting, getting out there, taking action, contacting and inviting, following up, collecting decisions, and you'll start to see that, that the, your efforts come to fruition over the next few weeks, and it ultimately will bring new energy to your business. So I'm super excited about that. I've got some new people that I'm going to be introducing in the group over the next couple of days. Anybody else have anything that they'd like to share? I do. Just one thing. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I listen to um, his name's Dr. Living Good, and he um, promotes, you know, living good, healthy supplements and everything. Anyway, um, he was doing a live yesterday and saying that the FDA is really cracking down on um, companies and different supplements and stuff. And he went on to say that certain um, certain supplements are fixing there's going to be a lot of um between now and forward moving forward if there's going to be a lot of supplements that are that are going to be pulled from shelves and stuff so if that happens that for us that would that's actually a door opening for us to see what i'm trying to say i don't know what i'm trying to say but i just wanted to mention that well, we definitely have credible products. And so they, they will stand above a lot of the other things that will continue to be removed. So thank you for sharing, Brenda. I appreciate that. Um, we're going to go ahead and jump into it this morning. So uh, I want to talk a little bit about two things today. I want to talk a little bit about building in the Latino markets. Um, anybody, do you guys have any curiosity? Or would you guys like some tips about building in the Latino markets or growing a Latino business? So is that something that you guys would benefit from? That's, that's one area that I want to touch on today. And I want to touch on just, and we... we we talk about it a lot, but the, the, the unique selling points of our compensation plan, because it I think you're frozen, Travis. Selling points of our compensation plan, especially with those that have been in the industry, because it's such a unique differentiator. And when people truly understand it, they get excited about it. And so I wanna make sure that there's just a couple of key points that you wanna be aware of and that you wanna be able to intelligently explain to others when you're talking about it. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about that as well. Uh, I'm gonna go back over to Tony Banuelos for just a moment. I'd love for you, Tony, to share just some of your thoughts and wisdom and experience and kick us off on this topic, um, if you wouldn't mind this morning. So with that, everyone give Mr. Tony Banuelos a big round of applause. Thank you, Travis. Couldn't have done it without me, man. Uh, and thank you everyone for your support. Thank you, Dr. Aaron, for your amazing post, your support. That was very inspiring while it was happening. Um, I wanna go back a little bit. I was not gonna go to this event because remember I was in Mexico and I was not gonna go to that event either. Neither was I going gonna be there for Colombia because it's the worst time in my life to be traveling for five days. But I realized that I was not being a leader to my team. I realized that me not being there was me not properly leading my team in Latin America. And people were not committing themselves to actually showing up to the event because I was not gonna be there. I was not gonna be there representing the team. And the minute everybody knew I was gonna be there, we went from maybe two people showing up to probably 12 to 15 from the team. People traveled one hour to 14 hours used to be there in the event to meet Travis, meet me, meet Sergi. And it kind of took me back to what we talked about when we were in Mexico. I think in the US, I mean, Travis were having this conversation at the airport on the way back. We, tend to take this for granted in the US, in Canada. In Latin America, they are so hungry. It's, it's, it, it was insane, the momentum that was happening there. They didn't care if they had no product in their hand. People hadn't even seen the product, but they were so excited. They were wanting to schedule meetings after meetings. 
from Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. They want me and Travis and Elias from Costa Rica to stay longer. And like Travis mentioned, the agenda wasn't quite there, but we kind of took over the event. And to us, it spoke volumes because we had, we had Travis, we had Elias from Costa Rica, and we had myself pretty much leading this whole event for two days, two sessions. And the corporate team, we have amazing corporate team. Felix was up there. Honestly, he was barely gaining through. At one point, he's like, I've only set four hours like in the past three days. Like, it's insane. So to me, it's like, that's, that's amazing because all this dedication that we have from Felix and Sergi being there, as you guys know, Sergi was in Costa Rica, launching Costa Rica the night before, but they took the jet overnight, the red eye, to be there for the two sessions. And let's just remember what we have here. We have one family. It was amazing what Travis mentioned. We were all helping each other there. We didn't care whose organization it was, whose team. We were all just helping each other because it was the very, very first event. So don't be scared to build the Latino market. Don't be scared to build in Latin America. I was honestly a little, I've never been to Colombia. I was a little, you know, traveling to another third world country by myself. And I got there on, on Friday, nobody was there. Travis didn't show up until Sunday, but we have to do what we have to do. And I remembered why we're doing this business. We said, we're gonna go all in. So it's, it's crazy because I feel like sometimes we kind of pause and we stop going all in. And that's what's going to hold us back, in my opinion. So I said, I'm just going to be there, whether it's good timing in, in my life or not. And it wasn't. I'm already catching up on sleep, catching up on other stuff here at home. But it was well worth it. I, have, I probably have over, I woke up to 50 WhatsApp messages from different teams, different groups, everybody wanting to know more and catch up. So thank you, Travis, for the motivation of being there in Colombia. Outstanding. Um... The Latino markets, the, um, you look at some of these markets like Mexico, they're actually all their top five markets, you know, just behind the United States, Asia. <clears throat> so the, the Latino communities and network marketing are growing like fire right now. And Tony touched on my first point, uh, which is Latinos are extremely hungry. You know, in some of these communities that we've been in, you know, uh, the average income in Costa Rica is about $400 a month. The average income in Colombia is four to $500 per month. So when we talk about helping someone to earn an extra $500 a month, sometimes maybe here in the United States, as Tony mentioned, you know, we might take that for granted, but that's life-changing. You know, they did a, Sergi did one of his promotions that he always does down in Latin America when he visits a country. And he did one of the biggest promotions I've seen him do. You come in at 3,000, I'll give you $9,000 worth of the product. And so we kind of looked at those numbers and said, okay, $9,000 in products, approximately 360 boxes. If you were to go sell 20 boxes a month, just retail 20, 20 boxes a month, you've now created a $500 a month income for the next year and a half for yourself and for your family. Um, so they're very hungry. And one thing that I've observed as well is even with the incomes being four to $500 a month in some of these markets, they figure it out. They figure it out and they come up with the money to go diamond. And the reason for it is because they see the value and sometimes they, pull their money together with families and come together because one of the family members will ultimately be able to impact the others if they're doing well, but they just figure it out. And uh, the percentage of people that go diamond in these markets is pretty incredible. And so that just speaks to me that how hungry these people are. Um, they're very passionate. Latinos are very passionate um, and it can be felt, you know, their energy, you know, I was watching uh, Elias and he doesn't, I don't know if he watches these or not, but um, I got to give him a shout out because he did such a great job. He's so good on stage. I mean, that truly one of the best Latino leaders I've ever watched command an audience. And he gets up there and just gets them so riled up and so fired up. And, and um, you can just feel the energy in the rooms when you're in these groups because they're just so passionate about what they do. And I think we can learn from them. I think we can learn from them because we are in the business of contagious enthusiasm and we've got to be able to share our passion with others. And sometimes I think that we suppress it or we kind of push it down or we hide it out of fear of rejection, fear of what people are going to think, whatever the case might be. But there's something to be said about just getting excited about your goals and dreams, right? Getting re-energized and re-engaged about them and excited about what's going to happen in your life and where it is that you're going to go, right? Because that's what people buy into. And they are over the top passionate about what they do. So that's number two. Number three is this Latino markets have been taken advantage of for the last five to 10 years in the network marketing industry. Um, what I mean by that is company after company has said, they'll go into a market like Colombia. They won't officially register the products, but they tell the leaders that they're going to register the products. And then 
for whatever reason, it doesn't happen. A lot of times they realize the investment that's required, the commitment that's required to travel into these markets. For whatever reason, they don't deliver, they don't follow through. And it was a story that was consistently told every single time I was in Mexico, Costa Rica, Colombia. There's a mistrust there because these companies have been taking advantage of and going in and kind of pillaging and pulling money out and then they disappear. So they're looking for a company that they can count on. And when they find out that APL Go has an office in Mexico City, when they find out that we really are committing to the infrastructure with, with launch coordinators and, and, and managers in these markets, um, that we are in the process of registering our products, it really makes a big deal to them. But if you acknowledge it when you're talking with them and let them know, listen, I know that you guys have been taken advantage of. I know the Latino communities are right for someone to come in here and actually do what they say they do. Every one of them just sits there and shakes their head like, yes, you know, you, you, you have no idea. So that's number three. Number four is um, Latinos, this, the, the Latino markets are looking for a product with this price point right now. They all love this price point. $25 a month is so in the pocket. If you're, if you're talking with Latinos, and by the way, the best way to grow a Latino team down in Colombia, down in Mexico, down in Costa Rica, is to first find them here. Find them in your own backyard, right? Reach out to, to Latino leaders and influencers and say, listen, uh, right now I have an opportunity. You know, we're, we're currently introducing this new opportunity in Latin America and here in the United States within the Latino communities. And I respect you and I look up to you and I see the work that you're doing in real estate. I see the work that you're doing over here. And I wanted to know if you're open to taking a look at what we're working on right now. But the best way is to develop a team here locally and think globally, right? So build locally, think globally. Um, so the Latino markets are ready for a product with this price point. Uh, the next thing is, is that it's really rewarding. I, I will tell you being down there True fulfillment comes from contribution, right? True fulfillment comes from contribution. So when you are, when you're down in these markets, you realize the difference that you're making in these people's lives. I mean, a lot of them get emotional. You know, it's, it's, it's a tough life in some of these, these um, towns that we're in. And so when you have the ability to go in there and present them with an opportunity, oh my gosh, it's just, it's so rewarding to be able to do that. Um, you got to be prepared to travel to support your teams. You know, Tony, I think touched on it perfectly. You know, you, you, they appreciate the commitment. Again, it's about a commitment. They want to see the commitment. They're very, um, they're very face to face, right? Like they are still zooms and all that. And conference calls are new. Am I right, Tony? Like, are they, they want to be, they want to be like, they want to hug you, right? They want to be there and it feels good to, to be hugged. Right. But they, they want to be face to face. They want to see that you're really committed. I mean, almost any leader that I've met with will ask me, are you truly, are you willing to come down here and support us? And so you got to be prepared to travel to support your teams. And so that means being willing to invest a certain amount of your earnings back into your business, right? So Summer and I right now are in, you know, we, we, Alec, we, we've committed to a specific number percentage wise that we're reinvesting back into our business. And a good number is usually right at around 20%. Sometimes it'll go a little bit higher if we're traveling and it's expensive, you know, going to these different hotels and stuff can be expensive. Um, but, uh, what, you know, you've got to be willing to reinvest back into your teams if you want your business to grow. And so that's something that we've been, um, that we've been doing as well. I would also say, make sure you have a good translator. <laughs> Sergi was so mad. He had an event on Saturday, Sunday, I don't know, one of the days. And, um, he was really mad because he didn't like his translator and his translator would not convey the emotion that he wanted to convey on the stage. And so he was pretty frustrated about it. And sometimes a good translator can make you or break you because if they're not translating what you're saying or how you're saying it, you end up with an audience just looking at you like, what, did, what, did, what are you even saying? So, so that's very important as well. Sorry, make sure that you have at least organized uh, or, or made sure that you have someone that there, that's there that's going to help you communicate and, and translate on the team or, or maybe the team team usually knows someone locally that will be able to help. Um, and the last thing that I would say about building in the Latino communities is enjoy the culture. Um, take lots of pictures. You know, you'll get, be prepared to take lots of pictures because they love to take pictures. And, and so um, take lots of pictures. Enjoy the experience. I was telling Tony on the way home, we were just exhausted. Like I literally on Sunday night, what, no, Monday night, Monday night, we were flying home. We were at the airport at like midnight. 
we got home yesterday morning and I was so tired. I, I, we just literally went from one meeting to the next, to the next, to the next. I mean, it was just nonstop and it's exhausting, but it's also one of the most rewarding things that, that you'll do because you just feel so fulfilled and inner, you, you just, you, you kind of operate on adrenaline after a certain point. And I just said to Tony, I was built for this. I love it. Like it's absolutely one of my favorite things to do. I actually have anxiety when I go into these events because I know how hard it's going to be and the amount of people and all the things, but then I always come away just like, man, that was absolutely awesome. So uh, I'm actually going to go back to Columbia in four weeks. I'm probably looking at going back on the 19th um, to really help kick off those markets. And so um, more details about that will be available and we'll get that information out to you guys. So those are just some of my tips for building the Latino markets. Tony, do you have any follow-up thoughts at all? I miss anything or anything else you wanted to add as we were chatting there? I just want to add back to us being one team. Obviously, we're all on Travis's organization, but you know, there's other organizations within Travis's. To me, it was very powerful that me and Elias from Costa Rica got to meet in person for the first time. And we were having a conversation and we said, we have to have, be united because it's powerful and everybody's going to notice that we're united. So you just know that we're all one team here. And for our pop stars request, I'm going to be recording a five minute video in Spanish to help everybody, whoever build their business. And let's just remember, ask for help. We're all here to win together. Yeah, it's, um, we're all, it doesn't matter. Like at the end of the day, I mean, I'm grateful for Tony. You know, I'd call Tony and I'm like, help. I have four people staring at me right now. I don't have a translator. And I, they don't understand a word I'm saying. And so it was early in the morning and Tony ran down you know, this particular group's not in his group and he was there and he supported me and helped me and, and made a difference for me. So um, that's, the, that's, the, that's, that's what it's all about, right? Collaboration is key. Um, collaboration is currency. So those are some tips when it comes to building. I want to talk a little bit about real quickly here before we wrap up. I'm only going to spend about five minutes on this. I'm going to change the view here so you guys can see. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the compensation plan because it truly is a unique selling point in, in our, our business. And we need to be talking about it more, especially when you're meeting with prospects that understand the business. So, you know, as you guys know, in every single company, you know, throw that away. In every single company, um, every company has these ranks that you have to go through to get to the top. And in any given company, at any given time, you're going to find that there's only, it's really about a half a percent that are achieving the top rank in the company. But what owners don't tell you about compensation plans is, is that these first ranks here are typically the ranks where they pay out the least amount of money. And they do that because they know that 95% of the company is gonna be in those first four ranks. And to ultimately get to the top rank, this is where you, they, you can maximize the fullness of the compensation plan. Typically, it pays deeper. The percentages are higher. You're accessing bonuses that are not available down here. It could be car bonuses, lifestyle bonuses, you name it. But there's more opportunity here and less people get there. And then usually in most companies, there's a very small percentage of people who are actually maximizing the compensation plan. So when I look at compensation plans, whenever I evaluate a company, the first question I ask myself is, what do I need to do to get to the top rank so that I can maximize the comp? What are, what are the behaviors that I need to do? How much volume do I need to get to that top rank? Um, what's that going to look like for me? And so for, for us, one of the biggest selling points that we have is that we have the ability to allow people coming in the door to be able to get to this diamond status right away if they want to, if they choose to. They don't have to, but they can choose to go diamond right out of the gate. One of the questions that one of the doctors was on the phone with yesterday asked me is he said, listen, the average people coming into the business, do they really have a chance to make money here? And I says, more so than any other company I've ever been a part of. And let me explain why. The reason why is because in any other company, that average person is going to start right here. And in all reality, it's going to take, there's a learning curve that's usually going to take two to three years before they start breaking through and getting to some of these higher ranks. And again, I'm speaking on averages. There's always an exception to a rule. The challenge is, is that most people quit during those first two to three years because they don't feel like they're getting paid what they're worth for the amount of time and effort that they're putting into the business. And even when they do have some victories, they're getting paid such small percentages for those victories. Because why? Because the overflow is pulling up to the top leaders, right? So they, they, it takes a while to work yourself up. And so we lose a lot of people in that process. 
But if you have a compensation plan that literally everybody coming in the door has the opportunity to go diamond right from the very beginning, if you understand the benefits of going dining, think about it this way, right? When you're enrolling into the business, there's different levels that you can enroll, right? We've got the 100, we've got the 200, we've got the 400, we've got the 600, we've got the 1800, the 3000. The 1800 and the 3000 are the pro packs, we call them. Everything in this plan, and leaders, you need to be teaching this. The behavior of this plan is to get somebody to diamonds as quickly as possible. It needs to be part of your daily conversations with people, with your teams, when you're talking with them. They, the goal needs to be to get here as quickly as possible. Why? Because it's going to reward them for their efforts significantly at a different level than if they are here. So the objective needs to be, let's get people to diamond as soon as possible. Why? Very simple. Because in our compensation plan, when you enroll, you're not just choosing a pack, you're choosing something called a status. A status is going to dictate what you earn, both on the front of our plan and on the back of our plan. So what do I mean by that? It's 10%. If you come in at the $100 level, you're earning 10%. The industry standard for a traditional binary plan, which is two legs, which is how our plan starts, even though we're not a true binary, is 10%. So that's the average, right? Why? Again, because most plans you have to get up here before you're truly earning or maximizing the comp plan. Then it goes to 15%, 20%, 25%, 20, uh, 30%, all the way down to diamond at 30%. So you have the opportunity to be able to triple the amount of money that you're making for when you bring somebody into the business, when your team brings someone into the business by going diamond. So that's creating a faster story for your team members. That's creating more excitement more rewarding paychecks for your team members. So not only does it do this, but on the back end of our plan, on the unit level, which is all of the repeat orders, right? We pay down six levels. You know, normally we start off at 5%, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Once you go diamond, you're earning 10 on every single level across the board, all the way down. So you're maximizing the compensation plan. So as I mentioned to you earlier, when I look at a compensation plan and I say, okay, what do I need to do to maximize this plan so that I'm getting, I'm getting the most amount out of my efforts? It's always, okay, I need to get to this rank. What do I need to do to get there? And quite often that can take a long period of time. Usually, um, you know, it could take a year, two years, three years or longer for some people. So here you have that opportunity to be able to do that walking in the door. And if you can't do it from day one, that's okay. You can start off at one of the levels. I typically try to encourage my team members to start at no less than 600. And the reason why, because, because it at least gets them to 25% and at least gets them one box of product. And so they have an opportunity to be able to try each and every product. And then we can work our way to the 1,800 and 3,000 working with their commissions or something down the road. They might be able to upgrade for the difference, whatever the case might be. But you need to be having these conversations with new people that are coming in the door. One of the worst things that you could do is, is give somebody a pack Introduce them to your team members and then say, okay, great. I'm going to send you a link. There's some different options to get started, take a look at them and then just let them choose. Because people will always choose the path of least resistance. Dollars always follow value. So you need to be able to help people understand the uniqueness of our compensation plan. And truly the uniqueness comes back to the fact that not only do they not have to go through all of these ranks to get to the top, they don't have to requalify. If you, I mean, you, when I would say this to leaders and, and when, I, when I was in Latin America, and I said, listen, what percentage of people do you think in a company are typically at the top rank that are maximizing the comp plan? And they all say, oh, very small percentage. I said, that's right. Now, how many of those people are requalifying every month? And they're like, oh, it's one thing to get there. It's another thing entirely different to requalify. I said, exactly. What if you could join a company and you could literally get yourself to where you are being paid like those diamonds in any other company. You could do it from day one if you want coming in the door, but you control that when you were ready to do it and you never had to requalify for that again. Let me put it to you a different way. And I asked him this question. Let me put it to you a different way. If you're looking at two companies and company A allows you have to come in and you know that really to get into the money, you've got to earn your way through all of those ranks. And then you have to requalify at those ranks. Or company B says, listen, you can walk in the door on day one and you can hit our top rank, maximize the compensation plan, and you never have to qualify again. If you have the choice between company A and company B, which are you choosing? And they always say, of course, I'm going to choose company B. 
I believe that our compensation plan is our 16th product, 17, soon to be. So I believe that you, you really want to be intelligently talking about this. Part of your behavior that you're teaching your teams is understanding that the objective and the, and the whole compensation plan revolves around getting to diamonds, getting to diamonds. You don't want to put pressure on, uncomfortable pressure on people. You want to educate people and you want to make sure that they understand. Because I can tell you when most people come into this business for the first 30, 60 days, they probably don't understand the company. They just don't. They don't understand the comp plan. They don't. And, and when they finally do start to get it, they see the value. Typically, you will see an upgrade happen at that point because they understand how much money that they're leaving on the table if they're not a diamond. So we need to be talking about this to our prospects. We need to be talking about this with our teams, helping them to understand that our whole comp plan, everything is centered around helping our team members get to that diamond status. Why? because it's all about maximizing the compensation plan. If I'm a business owner, traditional business owner, my objective is to be profitable, right? It's, of course, it can be to make a difference, make an impact, all these things, but I'm, you know, I'm not a nonprofit business. I'm here for profitability. I'm here to make money. So if I'm here to be, in pro to, to, to be profitable, then I'm gonna look at, in most traditional businesses, what do they do? They look at, okay, you know, where, where are we spending money? What can we do to maximize those profits? In our business, and it is a business. You have to treat it like a business. To maximize our profits, you got to get to diamond. And we need to be teaching that and talking about that more and talking about the uniqueness of our plan to our prospects. Cool? Got it? Any questions at all? All right. Listen, last but not least, I want to um, just shout out, say a prayer for anyone and everyone right now that's got a loved one or a family member that's struggling. I know that um, we've been praying a lot for Sarah. We've been praying a lot for Will. Um, I know that they've been going through a hard time right now. I know there's other team members and extended family members that have people that are struggling right now. So we want to just send our absolute love to everyone. It's a tough time. It's a crazy time in the world. Um, so we want to just extend our love to each and every one of them as well. So with that, I'm going to open it up. Does anybody have any questions or thoughts or comments before we wrap up today's call? Hey, Travis. Michael. Hey, uh, thanks for that. We appreciate you as always. Um, you know, it's really funny. I I told you the other last Wednesday, so I'm going to start concentrating on women. But let me just go back just a step. I had I had sponsored someone way back when I first started with APL, and he was excited. He's a golf, in the golf industry as well. Hold on one second. Um, long story short, if you reinstitute some type of different terminology or different, you know, our script is our script and so forth. Hey, Johnny, you got and what, what I found is if you're, if you're going by what you guys teach and what APL teaches, and sometimes we, we forget what we've learned and this has been, been early on. And I, I, I connected with them the other day and I said, this is a different delivery system than a regular nutritional supplement. And a light bulb moment went on with that guy. So just don't give up on those people that, that you have in your organization that actually are not doing anything. Go back to them and say, hey, how can I help you? This is, this is a spot right now that, you know, you're already in. And make the best of it. That's all I had to say. Thanks, Michael. Appreciate that. Well said. Anybody else? Questions? All right. Joby. I'll jump in one thing, Travis. It's a small thing, but it's kind of exciting for me. I know that we're moving slowly from getting um, reps, business reps and business partners in, the, in our model, our whisper campaign to actually putting customers on the books now and turning folks into prime customers. And I just want to say, um, I've always been a believer that the best associate comes from a highly addicted customer, you know, and um, Although my, the model in front of me, you always teach us to, you know, bloom where we're planted, right? Do what's in front of you. The circumstance for me this summer has been an opportunity to get a pile of, of cold leads from working Friday and Saturday at the farmer's market. And um, I've been believing that as I hook folks on with lots of um, um, samples and then helping repeat them, even at, at farmer's market prices, which for me are kind of flash sale prices, 
that they would become addicted and want to share. And uh, just this morning, I got my first person who asked me about how to become a rep because they want to share these amazing drops with their friends. And it, it's not, you know, it's not the big stuff like you're doing with the big cowboys in the business and stuff. But for those of us who sometimes are like, this is where we fit in. This is what's working for us right now. This is what's going on. The timing of the prime customer finally working and the timing of November and September being a time when folks really want to use these drops, but flipping our, our customers, first making them good customers, and then moving those folks into the business. Um, just excited me this morning, kind of like everything you talked about this morning, but what reignites you? Somebody coming to you to say, how do I sell these things? It's, it's a small win, but it probably lights me up like, um, like the conversations you guys had this weekend um, with just somebody new coming into the business. I, I don't remember who said it, but they said, anybody, I don't care who you are, more folks coming into your business and you spending time with them, that keeps that ember burning you know, in all of us to just continue to help so many people. Um, with this opportunity. So thank you for Wednesday. Thank you, you and Tony and all the folks who opened Latin America. I've got a couple of folks um, really trying to, to, to ride your coattails there and um, just love this business. Even, even in August, I love this business. <laughs> I love it. And I agree, just so you guys know, the, the, the customer that falls in love with the product will always be one of your best business builders because they have a personal story and experience with the product. So yeah. um, we're actually going to be introducing um, next month. And I've just kind of been waiting for a few things to happen on the system side for the company with the web, with the website that's going to be uh, changing. We're going to be introducing a few uh, wellness week strategies that, that we are really excited about. Um, we're going to be incorporating and utilizing WhatsApp just to kind of create a different um, energy that happens, but we've got a whole, we've got a little, um, Images. I'm going to be asking one leader a day to share a three minute video that they'll be sharing in the groups and some of the things that you guys have been doing in some of your Facebook pages, but we're going to start incorporating at a team level some wellness Wednesdays that uh, those that want to participate can go invite um, minimum of five you know, or maximum of five people each so we don't have it overloaded we're going to cap it at a certain amount a number for each thread that we do so it's not overwhelming in the group. Um, we're going to have it where you can ask questions at a certain time of the day only so that it's not like the chat's going off all day long. And we're going to be dropping at the same time every morning a video. And then we'll be doing a Q&A time slot that they can ask questions and having somebody that's there. So we're, we've got that structured out and drawn all out. Actually, if you saw over here, I've got it all kind of drawn out. I'm just waiting for the system to catch up to what we want to do with that. But that's something that we're going to be integrating in the next few weeks. That's exciting, Travis. And I, I just, again, I've been trying to help my team enjoy your, enjoy your August, but September, October, November, those are just some of the best months to climb, to grind, to work in this business and set us up for, you know, the 10 year birthday, um, the new drop coming out, all these things. It's just a, this company puts everything in place for us. We just have to keep, you know, heads down, phones up, man, doing the work. So thank you for your continued motivation and training. Love it. Somebody asked the question, just the difference in percentages with the status that you're at. You're at the $100 status, you're getting paid 10% on the upfront group bonuses, which means you and all of your teams, right? Team members activity. 200, you're at the 15%, 400, you're at the, or 600, you're at the 20%, 1800, you're at the um, uh, 25 or 30%, and then the 3000, you're at the 30%. Now, some people say, well, why is the 1800 and the 3000 both at 30%? Because when you're at diamonds, also on the back end, which means resent all of the reoccurring orders, auto ships, right? So when I sign up, I come in with a, with a pack, that new pack goes through the front end of our plan. It goes through the two-legged, let's call it a binary, initially is how it looks. When it starts, you're earning anywhere from 10 to 30%. So the objective is to get to diamond because you're earning three times the amount of money. But once you also get to diamond, the difference between the VIP and the diamond is on the back end. The back end is, is all of your auto ships. And after I place that first order, now I'm ordering every month, right? All of my regular activity, we call it. So typically on the back end, your regular activity is 5% level one, 6% level two, 7% level three, 8% level four, 9% level five, 10% level six. But if you're a diamond at the 3000, it's 10% on all of those levels. So everything flows around getting to that diamond status. It's the, really the key to our our business model and our plan. Every 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 compensation plan has a strategy, right? Most strategies are you got to work your way through all the ranks. Here, our strategy is let's get our get to status, get to the VIP diamond statuses as quickly as possible, so that you're getting 
rewarded for your efforts the way that a top distributor would be in any other company. Any other questions Tra before we wrap up? Travis? Yes. Um, I'm not really good at explaining the compensation plan. So what is a good resource or primer to send people to that explains it? Me. Call me and I'll do a three-way call with you on any one of your prospects and I'll get on a way, any one of you that has a prospect that, or a group of, any one of you that has a team, and let's say that you've got a good group of new people that just enrolled or new people or a prospect that's looking and you want some help explaining the comp plan, hit me up. I'll do a three-way Zoom with you and your team anytime. I also know, Patty, there's any other leaders in the, the, to the team here, there's a number of them that be willing to help you. If you're looking for a resource specifically that you can send them, um, there are there are some videos that are out there, and I think they're in Rapid Funnel of me standing in front of the whiteboard explaining the compensation plan in full detail that you could send over to them as well. Perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right, guys, got to run. Uh, any did, did I somebody else want to chime in there real quick? Uh, Travis, this is Garth and Aaron. Sorry, I didn't hear the whole conversation because we're walking. But one of the things I wanted to point out the benefits of going diamond, and maybe you already touched on it, but is that matching. Uh, check bonus five levels deep that you get at the diamond status as well. So ninery, unilevel, and matching check, it shows up in three areas of your overall paycheck where it makes the most amount of sense to get there as quick as possible. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate you. I didn't bring that up, Garth. Thank you for pointing out the check match as well. One more reason. Um, all right, guys, got to run. Busy day today. You hope you guys have a great day today and um, looking forward to a great week ahead and close out to the month. Um, let's push hard through the end of the month. And if there's anything that I can do, I'm here to do three-way calls. I'm here to do, you know, the, there's some teams that are leveraging me right now where I'm doing, they'll get a group of five to 10 people together, often newbies, and just we'll do kind of a, a whiteboard training, get them excited, talk about the compensation plan. So if I can ever be of service to you that way, if you've got an influencer that you need a three-way call, I'm there. Just reach out to me. I'm happy to help. So. Appreciate you guys. Have a great day today, and we'll see you on the next Winning Wednesday. Thanks so much. Thanks, Travis. Bye, everyone. Thanks, Travis. Bye, Brenda. Bye, everybody. Thank you, Travis. Bye, everyone. Thanks, Bye, Travis. Travis. See you all later. Bye, Thanks. everyone.